morning i am shivang mehta in this session we are going to analyze uti nft mid cap 150 quality 50 index fund uti is one of the trusted company of india which has asset management company since 1963 so let's go ahead and you know analyze the new fund launched by uti it will be opening on march 28 and fund closes on april 5th scheme reopens april 13th so and people with very high risk appetite can invest in this fund before we analyze please subscribe your shop channel for analysis for new bond nfo ncd ipo etf and many more also visit yourshop.com and use coupon code u100 for flat rupees 100 discount on all products for free one year gst and itr e-filing services so let's go ahead and analyze this fund now so first talking about the company UTI unit trust of india it is a government of india owned company it has major shareholders are lic state bank of india government of india and rest you know public psu so uti asset management is professionally managed company led by proficient board of directors having expertise in diverse fields and dedicated management team having requisite talent and experience uti mc has been managing assets across businesses this include domestic mutual fund pms international business retirement solutions and alternate investment assets uti mutual fund has long and distinguished pedigree along with nationwide network spread across the length of breadth of the country so as you can make out the company offers diversified you know range of products and has a nationwide distribution network so company has quite strong fundamental and qualitative fundamentals so let's go ahead and see the nfo details so as we have seen nfo opens on 28th and closes on 5th the official name of nfo is uti nf nft mid cap 150 quality 50 index fund so during the new fund offer to the scheme of the scheme will be sold at rupees 10 per unit so this is the price 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 per unit the investor has to pay to invest during nfo of rupees 5000 so minimum 5000 you have to invest and after that in the multiples of 1000 you can invest more so exit load and entry load is nil in this one coming to the other details so uti nft mid cap 150 quality 50 index fund is a open ended scheme replicating tracking nft 50 150 quality 50 tri so it is an open ended scheme that means you can leave and enter this scheme anytime without any expense or exit load the investment objective of the scheme is to provide returns that before expenses closely correspond to the total returns of the security and represent by the underlying index subject to tracking error so it is a, as you know it is a passive fund so it wishes to reduce the tracking error and give a uh, replicate the returns of the its benchmark plans and options offered so there are two regular and direct plans are offered so depending upon the clients you know convenience they can go ahead with the fund in growth fund the you know the cost of cost for the client is less and in direct direct fund as well coming to the asset allocation and investment strategy so security is covered by nft 150 quality 50 index 100 to 95 percent will be invested in that medium to high and five percent in debt and money market to you know keep the liquidity going for the fund house so investment strategies are invest investment focus and asset allocation strategy the scheme in is a low cost index fund which tracks you know the nefty mid cap 150 quality 50 index passively the scheme endeavors to achieve the return equivalent to underlying index while minimizing the tracking error portfolio turnover policy so the scheme is passively managed fund and therefore the portfolio turnover will be confined only to rebalancing of the portfolio on account of new subscriptions redemption and change in composition of underlying index benchmark performance of nft mid cap 150 so over a period of five years the company has given around 15 percent return in last one year company has given around 17 percent since beginning of this year company has given negative returns of around six percent but as as you know these indexes are for long term investment so in long term since inception company has given around 19.8 so 20 percent 
returns company has given so you know this is the outperforming index fund which can you know consistently beat inflation coming to the top constituents and sectoral representation so top constituent are you know mid cap top mid cap you know indexes so 50 companies with high profitability low leverage and more stable earnings are selected to be part of the index so the weight of the each stock in the index is based on the combination of stocks quality score and its free float market capitalization so depending upon this criteria top 10 stocks are tata lxc page industries mind tree crompton icic emphasis bharat electronics voltas atul IPC laboratories. So as you can make out, there is a diversified range of, you know, stocks from different industries such as IT, chemicals, capital goods, healthcare, consumer durable, financial services. IT has been given the most weightage of 17%, followed by capital 14%, capital goods 14%, healthcare 12%. So these are the major sectoral representation in the index. Coming to, to the strength, so high risk reward ratio. Generally, mid cap fund invest in smaller and not very well-known companies which are in the growth trajectory. So such companies are not generally noticed by research elements, but once the company grows in their size, revenue and profit, they are recognized by the analyst market and enjoy higher valuations. So, you know, mid-cap company has much more potential than large cap and blue cap companies to give higher returns if they are recognized and give strong performances. In the history of mutual fund, of mid cap funds have outperformed large cap funds and the trend is not likely to change anytime soon mid cap funds are lower risky and volatile as compared to the small cap funds with high growth opportunities than large cap funds they are under followed in stock market as compared to large cap stocks giving a huge opportunity to wise investors to do their investment quickly liquidity of mid cap funds is more and compared to small cap funds and mid cap companies has been in business for long enough to avoid blunders usually made by small cap companies so this adds to the credibility of the mid cap companies coming to the risks so these funds might hit hard during a bear market situation so we have to consider the macroeconomic situation also while investing in these funds during an economic crisis large well established companies tend to do better than mid cap ones provide more stable and regular return mid cap companies tend to have lower growth potential and then smaller companies and hence provide fewer investment returns comparatively so you have to consider now your risk appetite as well that you want to invest in small cap mid cap large cap considering those criteria there, there, there are risks coming to the peer performance of pgim india mid cap opportunity fund access mid cap fund quant mid cap fund has you know outperformed Highly, they are all, you know, actively managed funds and has given around 30% returns. So you have to consider your risk appetite and the performance of existing funds as well before investing in this fund. So should you invest in this fund or not? This is the fundamental question. The investor seeking expo exposure to the mid cap companies and the, at the same time wish to invest in reasonably high quality businesses can consider investing in this fund. Furthermore, if you wish to invest in a passive fund that takes a systematic approach, UTI, Nifty Midcap 150, Quality 50 Index Fund will be a suitable option. Therefore, investors seeking exposure to midcap companies and risk takers can consider investing in this scheme. So, anyone who is looking for long-term wealth creation and has high risk appetite can invest in this fund. Thank you.